Aqua, I believe. Now back to Burkhart. Burkhart sends it back down low for Obi Mako. Puck sent in front, and there's a shot. And a goal from Brian Grip. Back ahead for Cross. Puck, Puck hops his stick. Grip gets to it. Grip skates in. Fires a shot over the shoulder of White and in. Commercials, and you'd only get the ones that we want you to hear. Um, Bethel with the puck right now. Comparing loses it, though, in front of the net. And the one-timer taken by Justin Burkhart gets past White. 9.45 to go in the second. It's now 3 to nothing. Central Florida over Bethel. And now leading 3 to nothing over Bethel. Steve says hi, Deb. He did. He said hello to you. And there's another shot and a goal for Central Florida. Mark Doucette with that one. Back the other way, try to pass that went off the skate of Hatton. And the puck will come back across center. Hatton blocks another pass. Skates in with it, fires a shot, goal! Bart Hatton goes top shelf. Giles over to pick up the loose puck now. Sends it back over to Cross. Cross with another one. Knocked down by Amadeo, but loose in front. Bethel trying to get a tip in or something. Finally, there's another shot to goal. Bryce Cross goes five hole on Amadeo. And it's a power play goal for Bethel. They've cut this Central Florida lead in half. Central Florida leads 4-2 with 3.15 remaining in the third period. Over to Cross, and then Cross dumps it back into the Bethel zone. Nobody back there. It's a foot race to the puck, and Doucette's going to get there first as we hit a minute 50 to go in the period. There's a shot, comes in, and a goal. We'll clear it up, picked up by Skiles. Skiles over to Cross. Cross coming in, sends a shot, and it trickles in off of the outside pad of Sioma. Power play goal scored by Bryce Cross. His second of the game gives Bethel a 3-2 lead with 10.45 remaining here in. Goes just wide from Howe. Rebound, picked up by Florida Gulf Coast. Coming back in, sends a shot. Buzek taken now, sends a shot and a goal scored by Wolf. And with 4.44 to go here, we're tied up at three between Bethel and Florida Gulf Coast. Send it back in now, stolen away with it is Cross. Cross is it in, scores! Bethel wins 4-3 in overtime. That goal from Bryce Cross was not only the game winner, but it was his hat trick goal. Bethel wins 4-3 in overtime, and Florida Gulf Coast cannot believe what just happened. We're back with post game next. Cross over to pick it up. Works his way slowly in towards the net. Fires a shot and it goes in. I believe that actually went off the arm of Ranella and went into the top of the net. With 5.36 to go here in the first period, Bethel with a power play goal from Bryce Cross. And they'll take the 1-0 lead over Virginia Tech. Back to center for the faceoff here. Back to Skiles. Skiles flings it in towards the net, and that went off of the shoulder of Ranella and then off the crossbar and cleared into the corner. Here's Skiles with it, back out to Cardwell, back to Skiles in the faceoff circle, and Skiles shoots top shelf, and he scores. Brady Skiles with the power play goal there for Bethel with 33 seconds to go on the power play, 149 to go in the first period, and Bethel now with the 2-0 lead over Virginia Tech. And loses the puck. 
Long pass ahead. Here's Brandon Howe racing after it in towards the net. Backhanded shot and a goal. Brandon Howe got to the puck and was racing towards the net as Matt Coyne was coming back on defense. Coyne couldn't get there fast enough. And Brandon Howe with a nice backhanded shot past the diving Andy Ranella. And it's now 3-0. Bethel out in front of Virginia Tech with 7.25 to go here in the second period. Bryce Cross there to settle it down for Bethel. Tries to pass it ahead off the boards and has to put on the brakes. Dumps it down low for Neville. Neville with a shot and a goal! And Neville! Bill Neville just all over the place so far today. And that, I believe, is the third goal of the day for Bill Neville. And it's now 4-0 Bethel out in front of Virginia Tech. 6.41 to go in the second period. Back to center for the faceoff. Howe won it, tried to send it back for Hatton. Now the puck loose. Picked up by, oh, picked up by the 21 of Connor Dunning, and he just flung it right through the legs of Noah Sims. 6.33 to go here in the second, and Virginia Tech gets on the board. They now trail 4-1 to one to the Bethel Wildcats. And a pass for Potts. Knocked away by Pfaffenberger. Puts it ahead for the 28 of Nick Gorgon. He goes top shelf over the shoulder of Sins. And Virginia Tech has now cut the Bethel lead in half. They trail 4-2 to two with 4.30 remaining here in the second period. Got room, flings it in towards the net. It goes over the crossbar. Bryce Cross will pick it up in the left wing. Face off circle, shot a goal. Bryce Cross through traffic. And that took just 19 seconds of the power play. Bethel back out to a three goal lead. And there we go. Five to two now the score. Bethel out in front of Virginia Tech with 3.53 to go here in the second period. Well, gets to it, pokes it away. Now Comperry going the other way. Bethel's got numbers here, three on one. Puck over to Cross. Cross shoots, and it's a goal. And I don't know if that one got tapped in front or not. Not sure if Potts got the stick on it. But with 11.15 to go in the third, it is now 6-2. Bethel in front of Virginia Tech. Shot and knocked down. Bethel trying to stay with it, unable to do so. And here's Virginia Tech. Back in towards net. There's a shot top shelf. Off the stick of Connor Dunning. They got Sins down onto his knees and then just lifted it up and over his shoulder. Virginia Tech pulls within three with 8.19 to go in the third period. Six to three is your score. Bethel out in front. Face off at center and back over to Cross in the corner. Seven seconds to go as Cross throws it out in front. It's get sticked into the far corner. Skiles over there to pick it up. Throws it back out in front. And there's a goal tipped in front. And it goes past Ranella as the buzzer sounds. And that was Ryan Potts who tipped it in front. And I believe that one will count. It will. So the final score here will be Bethel 7, Virginia Tech 3. We'll take ourselves a break, come back, and wrap this one up here on the American. Puck now picked up and a goal scored by Central Florida. Puck 
Jackson in. Shot and a goal scored by Sam. It is now four to one. Central Florida. Looks like Florida Gulf Coast is leading Virginia Tech by a score of three to two. And another goal scored by Central Florida. Now, sent up and in. Picked up by Central Florida. Working back in is the 26 of Lejeune. Lejeune circling back around Sins. Central Florida leading 4 to 1 with 9.20 to go. And another goal scored by. Shot from Cross. Puck loose in the crease. And it goes in. 